Black people are mad at me because I said that people of color invented country music and not black people specifically. And you know what I have to say to that? I am sorry. Hey, lovely viewer. Welcome back to Comfort for Life. Country music, how beautiful. Like, this song is a, is a hit. Like, wow, wow. Uh, among other let me say country music that you know uh it's it's an obsession <laughs> like obsession i would literally say it's an obsession there has been a discourse that has been happening on tiktok lately concerning um the inventors of country music who earns credit for the invention of country music could you be knowing the inventors because there's so many uh, opinions from people some are claiming it's europeans others are claiming that oh yeah, colored black people colored people let me not say colored black <laughs> and also something that is very strong is it is from black slaves who could be the inventor who earns credit for this a few stitches i put across are people's opinion so don't hesitate to leave your thought in the comment section listen to the few stitches that i put across for a completely different reason, black people are not the reason country music exists. Now don't get me wrong, black people definitely deserve credit for 90% of American music because they were robbed of their culture when they were brought here as slaves and had to completely reinvent the well in order to create their own music. So yeah, in 90% of situations when we're talking about blues, jazz, R&B, yeah, black people get credit for that. Country is the exception. Recently, I posted this video where this ignorant racist guy from the internet said lots of offensive and wrong things. One of the weirdest wrong things he said is when he scoffed at the idea that African Americans may have created country music. It went something like this. So yeah, he's disgusting. Um, I don't want to focus on that sort of negativity right now. If you want to watch that other video, please go watch it. Right now, I want to use that as a point of departure for some positivity and celebration of great music. So quick note about me. Before I went to law school, uh, I have an undergraduate degree in music. I went to graduate school for ethnomusicology at the University of Texas. My area of study was American music, specifically blues and jazz. So let's start just by clearing up that ridiculous nonsense. African Americans absolutely created country music, rock and roll, jazz, R&B, Every form of music you might consider American music, they've actually either created or had a huge impact on it, including uh, contemporary uh, chamber music and orchestral music. So when a lot of us think of American blues music, we think of B.B. King, we think of Muddy Waters, the, the kind of the riffs like dum doo dum 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 ch 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 dum doo dum 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 which is a Muddy Waters riff by way of Willie Dixon. That is something we would associate with the Northern blues, more like the Chicago electrified blues. However, that's not the only version of blues. As the music was developing in the first half of the 20th century, there was an enormous subsection called country blues with artists like Big Bill Brunzi, Lead Belly, and Robert Johnson. So let's get to the music. Let's listen to a little clip of Lead Belly and see if it sounds like an early version of country music. My girl, my girl don't lie to me last night. Come on, Jimmy, baby. So that song's from the 1930s, but less than 20 years later, we have Hank Williams doing this. A memory from your Did you know that one of the most successful, and quite frankly, one of the greatest country artists to ever live, was black? When Charlie Pride retired from professional baseball, the world was shocked to find that he had one of the greatest voices that country music had ever heard. Between the late 60s and the late 80s, he had over 30 chart-topping hits and won four Grammys. Charlie Pride knocked down walls that had been up for nearly a century, and he did it by just being so dang good that nobody could deny it. And so he became a phenomena in country music, so much so that he was inducted into the Country Hall of Fame. His passing left a huge hole in country music, and here's to hoping that his legacy will inspire the next guard of black country music artists. Okay, no real hate for this user, but this is a common misconception that suddenly got popular after Beyonce dropped the country song. And it kind of reminds me of this idea that everything great about New Orleans is because of black people. Where did Mardi Gras come from? Who invented the muffalata? 
Yeah, New Orleans isn't called a melting pot because one ethnicity did everything to make New Orleans culture, but that's beside the point. For a completely different reason, black people are not the reason country music exists. Now don't get me wrong, black people definitely deserve credit for 90% of American music because they were robbed of their culture when they were brought here as slaves and had to completely reinvent the well in order to create their own music. So yeah, in 90% of situations when we're talking about blues, jazz, R&B, yeah, black people get credit for that. Country is the exception. Country's lineage directly comes from European folk music, particularly from Scotland, Ireland, and Germany. You might as well also go ahead and throw France into the mix as well, given that the Cajuns created Zydeco based on French folk music. But all these Europeans brought over their own traditional folk music when they immigrated to the U.S. Many settled in the Appalachian Trail, creating what we know today as bluegrass. And as I mentioned earlier, the Cajuns would settle in South Louisiana, creating Zydeco. With the invention of radio and recorded sound, country music started to homogenize and varying different styles from various different backgrounds started to collectivize into what we would today refer to as early country music. However, at the time, it was not referred to as country music, it was referred to as old-timey music given that it was meant to sound like the folk songs played in the old country. The name country didn't become popularized until record labels noticed that most of the people who listened to this type of music were white people living in rural country communities. Now the misconception that black people invented country stems from the fact that eventually country artists started mingling with blues artists and experimenting with black music. One of the first people to actually do this was none other than Hank Williams, who learned how to play guitar from an old blues man. And anybody who knows anything about country music today knows that Hank Williams was very integral into bringing that style of music into the mainstream. And even after Hank Williams came and went, it wasn't long before many R&B artists would also experiment with the country genre, such as Ray Charles. So while you can't really say that black people invented country music, what you can say is that black people had a massive influence on its evolution over the years. The trends that were started by Ray Charles and Hank Williams would go on to influence later generations of country artists such as Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, and of course Hank Williams Jr., the son of the legendary Hank Williams himself. So yeah, absolutely no hate to this user. This is a very common misconception. Let's talk about how country music was created by black people. Now there's a myth that you've been taught. You've been taught that country music is the music of white Southerners. The truth is that country music originated among enslaved Africans. Let's start with the banjo. The banjo is an important part of country music. Yet this instrument originated from West African lutes, which were instruments that were brought to America by enslaved Africans. In fact, the banjo is an African instrument that was an integral part of slave music. Country music is based on the song of the enslaved person. However, country music was labeled as hillbilly music and then was marketed as for whites and not blacks. Black country singers received no credit for their music. Banjos were used at festivals and contests were held that black people were not allowed to participate in. And even the sound was modeled after songs by enslaved Africans. Country music is not white people music. I am sorry. I totally misspoke in that video. I misrepresented the creation and origins of country music as a whole, and I would like to genuinely apologize for the way that I phrased that. Now, I figured today could be a little history lesson for all of the non-black folks out there who did not know that country music was in fact created by black people. Country music originally was a form of storytelling. Now, a little bit of background here. Country music is fundamentally comprised of a few key components, string instruments, storytelling, and simply put vibes. I don't know about you, but when I think of the banjo, Appalachia, bluegrass, and country music all come to mind. Much like a lot of the instruments that we hear and use today, the banjo was brought to the U.S. by African slaves. They would fashion the banjo and a lot of other stringed instruments out of things like gourds, dry gourds, which is just absolutely fascinating to me. Anyhow, these stringed instruments would be used during the inception of what we know today as blues. And blues was the parent genre of so many styles of music that we hear on the radio today, including country because of the heavy storytelling that was often found in blues music. And here's the important part. At the time of the inception of country music, black people were not allowed to be in spaces 
where white entertainment took place. So it was very common for white people to put on blackface and perform this blues-esque music that was created by the African slaves. And get this, the music was so good, even when it was being used as a joke for entertainment, that it started to be taken seriously in mainstream media. So literally, black people created a genre of music, white people stole that music, did it on stage in blackface for entertainment purposes, and the viewers of these racist depictions liked the music so much that it started to gain traction and became a popular music genre. And of course, the credit goes to not black people. And over time, country music has been influenced by other POCs. So Spanish music is another example of something that has influenced country music over time. But in my original video, when I said it was created by, I should have said black people. So I'm sorry. I hope this video was insightful and that it taught you something. And I'm excited to see what Beyonce does with this country album. I think it's gonna be one for the books. So much love to you, sweetheart. Have a beautiful day. Now it's your turn. You go tell your friends that country music was created by black people. And let's start giving the credit where it is due, my friends. To include this video, I will just do my assignment. I'll just tell my friends who are watching this video right here that black people are the inventors of country music. Hope you get it right. Among many things that were stolen from black people, country music is among them. So they get the credit for the invention of country music, according to what I know. I don't know what are your thoughts on this. According to history, that was what I was taught. That's what I read. That's what I researched on. Uh, I don't know what you think about this. Leave your thought kindly. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up kindly. Leave your thought in the comment section. Don't forget to share the video and tell your friend to tell your friend that black are inventors. Hmm. If you're not sure about it, research kindly. I'm taking to the flow now. Woo!